Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Roxanne, if it's your first time here, and then welcome. Today I want to get to share with you some mystery recommendations. Uh, during the month of March, it is March Mystery Madness. I will link all the information down below. I do believe there is a prompt this year, which is two by two. Uh, and I think you can interpret that in any way that you would like. Um, but I'm not really going with the prompt. I'm just going to read mystery. And so I just wanted to share some mystery suggestions with you all. One that you'll hear me talk about in my February reading vlog and my February um, wrap up whenever that goes up is Bluebird Bluebird by Attica Locke. This is the first in a mystery series. It takes place in Texas and our main character is Darren Matthews who is a black Texas ranger and so um, he got into the rangers with the hopes of really focusing on race related crimes and crimes in which that plays a very significant part um, and so because of that there he, he faces a lot of backlash he faces a lot of difficulties there are um, there are people that sort of don't really like always don't really want to accept the, the things that he says as being what they are and based on the the components and prejudices that they are um so there's a lot of in interesting social commentary there's um commentary on race within texas specifically let me see if i can show you what guy he does me Of course, he wants to play right when I am filming, right? Very playful right now. Um, and I, I enjoyed this. It does have a lot of those sort of um, mystery uh, tropes, you know, the sort of difficult uh, difficulties within, and within the marriage and um, a lot of drinking and stuff like that. But I overall, I really did enjoy my time with this and I would recommend it <laughs> for some historical um mysteries I actually have three recommendations the first is the ashley weaver uh amory ames mystery series these are the first three books in the series um and i really really love ashley weaver galileo I really, really love Ashley Weaver. I love these characters. I think that they're so interesting. And um, yeah, there's just the dynamic between the, the our main character and her husband is great. Um, I think the very last book, I don't know that I'm fully caught up, but the one of the last ones that I read had to do with spies. And it sort of um, felt a little bit less like sort of rooted in things that I could easily believe but I still really, really had a great time with it and always do with her, so I would recommend them. One that I know is, as I think, pretty beloved in, in book two is the uh, Veronica Speedwell mystery series. I've only read the first. Um, this is a Victorian age um, mystery series, and it's really fun. Um, I wouldn't say it's my absolute favorite, um, definitely not my absolute favorite historical fantasy, but if you enjoy a uh, book set in the Victorian era, if you enjoy historical mysteries, then I think you would really enjoy this. And then um, it is the 1920s India, uh, 1920s India mystery series. Um, these are the first two books and they are by Sujata Massey and I have thoroughly enjoyed both of these. I think they have a lot of really great commentary on um, gender re relations and, and, and just gender in, in this time in India uh, and it has one of my favorite father-daughter relationship dynamics that I have read. And then one that is pretty renowned and known so I'm just gonna mention it just because it, it is a favorite of mine also and that's Tana French um, this is Faithful Place which is the third book in her Dublin Murder Squad series and it is my favorite thus far and so that's the one that I wanted to show you um, I don't know that you necessarily need to read them in order because they are more companion books than chronal I do think they are chronological, but I don't, but they're more sort of companion books. Each one follows a different, thus far, each one follows a different character within the murder squad. But, um, I do recommend that you read them in order because you will understand these characters better having gotten some of the f background from the previous books. Um, but this is just my favorite one in the series it is Faithful Place. So if you have to have read one and two and haven't gotten to this one yet, please do. I highly recommend it. 
And then it is Elizabeth George. She's an author that I discovered last year and absolutely fell in love with. Um, she ha is written writing the Detective Lindley mystery series and they are really really great. I absolutely love them. I love him as a character. I think he is really engaging as a detective character. He's a slight, he's different. I don't know that he falls into a lot of the tropes that we get. Um, I, I think he's so introspective and there's just something really appealing about him and I love the dynamic that he has with his partner. So yeah, I highly recommend them. Um, the books that I have read have had, um, are dated. They, they have not aged particularly well, especially with the views on on fatness for some reason she seems to just dislike fatness a lot but um so i know that going in um and i love her characters and i love how they really get not so not only into the the investigation and our two detectives and any detective that they may be working with in the community but the community itself and it's really you get a sort of zoomed in um view of these communities and the dynamics between the neighbors and anybody who's involved and it's it becomes really psychological as well and i i really really love that so these are some recommendations that i have if you're participating in march mystery madness this year uh let me know if you'll be participating in any books that you might be reading my march tbr should already be up so if you haven't um had a chance to see that check that out i do have more mysteries that i will be reading there as well so as always thank you for watching and for listening i love you all very much